Hi everybody, I'm at Amanda's Hope down here in Central Phoenix doing a, a live video of a tour. And so I didn't want to like do it without you. I want you to see my wowness. That's what I call it, wowness. So this is Amanda, or this is Lorraine. Thanks, oh. Amanda. Hey there. Right out of me. This is Amanda's mom. Yes. And and we're here, and I'm going to flip the phone around so you can see what I'm seeing because she's going to give us a tour of Amanda's Hope. Now here's what I'm doing. Those of you who follow me know that I am a visual journalist, and so I take what I, the interviews I'm doing on uh, Relentless Talk Radio this year, and they're inspiring paintings. And so what I'm doing for a very select group of charities is I'm interviewing them, and then their um, interviews are becoming paintings, and their paintings will go into an auction. Now, Amanda's Hope is having an auction this Saturday. Just tell them where it is on Saturday. At the Weston Kierlin at 6 p.m. Come and join us, support our little warriors. And, and uh, so what will happen is that this painting that I'm creating, which by the way, I'm, I'm going to be painting on Wednesday afternoon, so you can watch me live here on Real Us Talk Radio or on my personal page, painting that painting. And the painting becomes like t-shirts and hats and, you know, sh swag. And uh, I'll give you a link to that. And 50% of the proceeds goes to Amanda's Hope because we want to be able to help the, the kids like just get better stuff and just get taken care of. So right now we're going to take a tour of Amanda's Hope and this is part of what's going to inspire me to make a painting. So I'm going to flip this around. So, okay. And here we go. Yeah. So, so welcome to Amanda's Hope. This is our play therapy counseling center. Yeah. This is where all of our kids and their brothers and sisters, mom, dads, grandma, grandpas all come and learn the coping skills and the mindfulness that they need to get through their journey of fighting cancer, which can be three to five years in a little kid's life. So which is a long flipping time when you're eight or nine or ten. It's like a third of your life. Third of your life. Right. Your little one. So this is their playground. This awesome. Get to heal. How many square feet? This is a really cool older... It's a 90-year-old home that we've converted into a counseling center. Here in, here in Arizona, that's like really cool. It's incredible. People back east are like, yeah, so what's the big deal? Like everybody lives yeah, in 90-year-old. Not, not here. 90 years old is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. So the comfy, cozy thing... That's our you can, adaptive apparel that yeah. um, Amanda and my daughter designed for children going through <laughs> chemotherapy so they don't have to take their clothes off and ex expose their entire body so they can get their port accessed and never have to take their clothes off. And then there's slits and sides right here on the side so their yeah. feeding tubes come through, their blood lines come through, and then there's little pockets inside so when they're not hooked up to the IV poles, all their little lines get tucked in. That is... They don't even have to scratch their little bodies hurt them in any way so let me tell you doc just recently had his appendix removed right and it was amazing how they just like you know he's a man so of course you know you rip off your shirt no big deal right you're, you're a 65 year old man no big deal but when you're a young little girl 10 years old and you're having your shirt ripped off three or four times a day it doesn't feel very good so this is genius and does she help you design this or was this yes. something Amanda designed 30 different designs, from dresses to hoodies to blinged out shirts, camouflage. And she, and she was how old when she did that? 12. 12 years old. Amazing. Some people there live their whole flipping lives and don't anything of value, and she was here for 12 years and changed the world. She has changed the world, especially the pediatric world. I, she's done the Amanda Port Stabilizer. We've done this. We're working on a book right now called Butterfly Kisses to help you get through your treatment. There's a lot, of, a lot of incredible things that she's And done. she got the right mom. Warrior mom. Her Warrior mother, mom. Her other sisters call me Mama Bear. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's get the job done. That's right. Yeah. That's awesome. Because you don't want other... I'm getting chills as you're saying that. You don't want other kids feeling like they're being exposed and their dignity is being robbed in their short little lives, when, especially when they're, they're not going to make it much longer. That's the experience they have, right? Yeah, I and mean, who wants to feel yucky? Like yeah. Everybody's just touching you whenever they want. Like and not talking to you. I love the story that you said on Relentless Talk Radio a year ago when when Christina uh, interviewed you. You yeah. said that she actually stopped and said, "Hi, I'm Amanda. I play soccer and yeah. volleyball and gymnastics, and I'm a person. Hello, yeah, you know. Just, don't just like poke at me with like a bunch of teaching yeah. students behind me. Yeah, get to know my name. I'm yeah. not a disease. You don't have to call me by my diagnosis. <laughs> you don't walk in the room and go, this child presents as leukemia, blah, blah, blah. No, this is I'm, I'm like a flipping person. Yeah. Like a real, like a little person with a heart. Yeah. yeah. So show me what, what else is going on so here. It, it, we'll take you into another counseling yeah. room. So this is another counseling room where our families come in. Wow. Um, so Look how we cozy. Get, we can even do video therapy for our families that you know are really, really sick and can't come in. Turn the light on. Turn on the light a little bit. Wow, look how cute. I know, it's lovely. I love the modern color. This is like totally like my I did we did everything in my house modern too, so love it. Be happy. Children's artwork. 
What's really Love interesting it. about children when they're doing their play therapy, their artwork, is that we have them design art of how people see them. And yeah. then for the therapeutic part, which is very private, we yeah. have them paint something on the inside, how they see themselves or how they see art. Which is exactly what I do. Which you know, you get exactly what I do. I tell a story the same way I did when I was a kid, just like these. Oh, I love this. Today is yesterday. That's awesome. Yeah, the kids are brilliant. So we're always. Oh, I'll look at this workshops. one. How cool is that? Yeah, awesome. Precious. I love kids' drawings. They're so awesome. They're so good. That's, is, that, is this a child's drawing or is that somebody else's drawing? Uh, someone else made the drawing for us. Wow, very but cool. It, but it inspires our, our kiddos. Yeah. So um, over here's our comfy, cozy room. So every day we get the hospital notifies us and says, you know, what size do you need? And so we come in here every morning, all the applications we get every night, we pack up their, you know, their comfy cozies, they tell us what kind of toys they like, and they all get our mindfulness kit. Look how sweet that is. So we wow. train moms and children how to actually do, get a breathing buddy, and we supply them with little stuffed animals and, you know, the high five breathing. And wow. we teach them how to make a gratitude journal. And we so what was your career prior to becoming Amanda's mom? It was product development. You know, I was in a wholesale floral business and toys. And so do you think that, that your experience as a professional, you've taken that into oh. how, you're, how you're, I guess you couldn't, you couldn't avoid that, right? This is no, part of what you are. Yeah. But this is, this is pretty cool. It's amazing. Yeah. So these are all things that you learned as a mom, or are they things that you and or things that you kind of work together with other people to develop? Yeah, these are all developed with our counselors. We have a staff here, and we all decide what would be the best coping skills for our children and their families, and we help them. We give them lessons. We teach this bedside. We also teach mom and dad how to take care of himself. Even if it means yeah, and having a cup of coffee, and like you can't give if you don't. Take care of yourself. Now, my dad has lymphoma, so every once in a while he gets super sick, and my mom is in, in the hospital 24 hours a day, exactly. and I feel helpless because I'm here in Arizona and she's there, and I say to my mom, have you showered? Have you, what have you done? And so caregiver fatigue is like a serious, it, you're it's probably very familiar with very that. Very familiar with it. Yeah. yeah you're exhausted. You're exhausted. Yeah. We've, we've had moms just literally just fall in our arms. Because they haven't eaten, or you know, they don't take care of themselves. They haven't shaved their legs in years, right? You know, it's, right. no, it's, it sounds crazy, but it's true, right? It's true. Yeah. So this is this is our comfy, cozy room. Wow. And what are they, who are these little guys? These are cute. Look at these. I know. A different um, people donate toys to us. That's very Okay, fun. so if people have extra toys, they, they, can, yeah. they can... We've awesome. even had kids that have birthday parties and then bring all their toys down here. And then they get to stuff their little... We have these backpacks. And so children come down wow. and they bring their little toys. The, and these are room. these are actually made very well. They're, this oh, is yeah. like an embroidered piece of art is what this is. That's amazing. Yeah. It's wonderful. Very cool. Really sturdy. Very cool. And then we have we have companies that you know, even make superhero, you know, capes for us. They're handmade by different companies and volunteer organizations. Wow. And so they, all the kids get superhero capes, toys, comfy cozies, and a mindfulness kit. To every child diagnosed with cancer, no matter where they are in the United States, we ship them out. Have you heard day. about an organization called um, uh, Beads of Courage? Oh yeah, we help them. Oh cool, yeah, awesome. We with them. They, they were one of the charities that I considered doing a feature on They're for for last year's Art of Fearlessly Giving Back series. What a great organization! They're amazing, amazing. Yeah. Founded by a nurse. Yeah, Cr incredible. You get through a hard procedure, and you get this little bead reward, and then. You know, when you get your necklaces that are, I mean, this long, yep. because yep. they get procedures almost every day. They get poked all the time, yeah. Yeah, then it's like this honor, you know, this badge. Like, right. I've, I've done this. Right. And, you know, it's priceless. Amazing. So what's in here? So we have another counseling room, and we also use this room as uh, financial counseling. So well, okay. So we may come in here and meet with our team to find out, you know, if they have enough groceries in the home. Are there APS being bills being paid you know do they need their car fixed or, you know these little here and now we call them here and now so they meet with our financial consultants or, you know the advisors and they, we go through and go how do we help you and then we network with so I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor can you give me a list of the things that you need so as I'm speaking to professionals that are coming on Relentless Talk Radio and the Alliance members because I have a Relentless Business Alliance team that I work with prospecting for and with Right. Um, if, if there's anything that you need that my business alliance members 
can provide, I'll ask them if they're willing to, to, to gift. Oh, yeah, any mechanic, air, air conditioning, you know, car, car thing, those are the expenses that people get. That they, like, yeah. creep up, and then you can't get there because your car's not running, you got a flat tire. It's chemo because you can't get your car fixed. Or yeah. um, we just had ghetto air conditioning unit. We yeah. had family's air conditioning break down this summer. They went and repaired it for free. Amazing. Yeah, just out of the goodness of their heart. So we, we're always looking for those relationships yeah. where we can... You know, well, this is what I this is what I love about what I do is when I I'm meeting so many people all the time and I'm a connector so I I love connecting nonprofits with business owners that can help them this is really fantastic I'm glad, this is worth a trip for me right here and, and it's priceless yeah I mean, our families come in here in absolute breakdown tears can you imagine a mom and dad not being able to provide for your child because you're paying for chemo bills you know it's close it's to my heart because when my brother took his life my dad was a young man didn't have insurance on my brother. Who has insurance on a 22 year old back in the, in 84? You didn't even think of that, today, right? It's so, it's so he had to borrow money to bury my brother. Yeah. And uh, you know, he did and he paid it back in short order, but he was an entrepreneur selling a business and was in transition at the time and just had to borrow money to buy his son's casket. Yeah, we've helped Crazy. even raise the money to get their child cremated because they have nothing. Absolutely. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so. America, but it does, and we're here to help. This is this is the reason why I wait. I was gonna do your painting this weekend, but I knew I would get nuggets in this interview, so I've waited because I, 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 it's, I knew I'd get something that I'd want to incorporate in the painting. So that's really huge. That's really huge. Yeah. So what else you got going on well, here? Now we're going to You got, to the you got to look, look at this guy. I know that this whole hockey team tie dyed their shirt for us. The Stampedes. Oh. The, the, you know, the Clark. Yeah, just tells me that tells me how I'm not a sporty, and, and, but and so the whole team wore tie dye one night, and then they all took their jerseys off, yeah. and they auctioned their jerseys off for the kids, the for the kids, and then it, they sponsored like 200 children to get comfy cozies. Okay, I'm gonna have to go night. see one of their games. That's amazing. Yeah. How many? How many? How many do they sponsor? Over 200 children. Wow. Just from selling their jerseys. After Look at that, guys! The Stampedes. Go check out their games. Buy some tickets. That's good stuff right there. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. They cool. Were incredible. So. Uh, now I'm going to take you to the playroom, which okay. is where the kids really, the miracles, the healing. Yeah. That's where it happens. So, it's, uh, so you guys look at, this is, this is what it looks like, people, before you have a gala. This is it. This is all the prizes and stuff getting packed up. Look at that. How cool is that? All this Amazing. Stuff. You got, the, this is all um, stuff people can buy or like yeah, t-shirts and stuff? Yeah, we sell t-shirts to, so that the comfy cozies go free to every child. Cool. And our parents, we have parent meetings where we connect parents, people that have been through treatment, and people that have just started. And more art. And more art from our kiddos. Cool. And this is the playroom. This is our playroom. This is wow, our play cool. Room. This is where all the healing begins. Wow. This is where we do play therapy, art therapy. Um, you know, they play dress up. We work through the sand tray therapy, which is priceless. So children Did get to, you know, tell their story. And we open up and they get to pick all these props and they, they literally tell us a story. But when they put the people in the, in the right. sand? So they're making wow. up characters, but it's actually their life. And so the, the, our therapists, who are very well trained, can work through their story wow. to help them give them the coping skills that they need to get through the treatment that they're going to have. We can't change the treatment, but we can certainly do the, the, the coping. It's not you're helping them to reframe. Right. Yeah. You know, awesome. Not to be so fearful. Right. That's what I do every day. <laughs> well, like, can make the healing take twice as long, right? Doc and I were in the jacuzzi yesterday, and he goes, we're in, he goes, he goes guess what? We're in Cabo. <laughs> and we pretended we were in Cabo at, at a resort the entire time we were in the jacuzzi. Right? Hey, you know what? It works. We had a fantastic time. Exactly. That's awesome. And so you've got lots of, and so what is that? So this is light therapy. So our children that um, may be autistic uh -huh. or um, attention deficit, you know, they have different things. This in real quick, and so what happens is you, they can focus on the colors and change the colors, and so um, this is very calming to children that are autistic. And so, so it's basically a lava lamp. Yeah, it, and we can put sound and music and screens on the ceiling, different things that calm them down, because you can't you can't teach a child. Mindfulness and therapy and healing techniques. If they're just if they're, terrified of it, right? So these are things that just calm them down. And they wow. Change. So this is a very. You know, so are these a, children that have autism and some type of cancer. cancer. Mm -hmm. God, those poor parents. Yeah, but it can 
right? right? I, I mean, like autism and cancer. And cancer. Yeah. Wow. So the Thunderbirds were very gracious to buy this equipment for us so that we could work with our children. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's quite remarkable. Amazing. That's and, amazing. And then we have every art supply and different things that we do for kiddos. So, I love the organization. Was that part of it? Did you guys build that unit? Uh, Sonora Custom Homes built that for us and gave it to us. You know, I had a salon back east, and so anytime I see like something that's custom, because I, I literally customized my salon, which is in a 120-year-old Victorian building. So every time I see something that looks like it fits, I'm like, no, okay, that took time. Yeah, a lot of right? work. Yeah. A lot of time, a lot of work. And a lot of energy and a lot of money, right? Yes. And, and who did, the, who did the, the, the mural? How fun is that? Yeah, I know. So my daughter had um, girlfriends that are actually quite famous artists now. Um, Demetria and uh, the Milans and yeah. so they came in and painted and Amanda loved sea turtles she swam with sea turtles and um, they were very significant in her life so they um, you know painted them into the, into the mirror. So how long has Amanda been gone? Seven years. Seven years. I had friends of mine make you know the little sea turtle. Oh how me. cool is that? And this was Marty's fingerprint so they've been on my around my neck for, for Wow. Her. You've done a tremendous amount of work in seven years, and yeah. she was sick for how long? Four. Four years. She had leukemia for three years, and then she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And then she, uh, a lot of what people don't know is there's only been really three strong chemo drugs that have been developed for children since 1950. So the drug that she was on to fight her leukemia was actually drug developed in 1950. The drawback was is that it could cause secondary cancers. You know, you, you yeah. hear all the warnings, you, yeah. it doesn't register yeah. until she was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and then it was registered quite heavily. You know, I talk about this all the time. Like, I, I make a decision every time I'm offered a, tra a, a, a uh, medication. Is it better for me to deal with whatever the primary illness is or to deal with the ramifications of taking a medication? Because every time you take a medication, there is yeah, some exactly. type of side effect, unless it's some kind of herbal something, and even that sometimes has side effects, right? Yes. So, yeah. so you got you get through the leukemia, and then you're dealing with brain cancer. Then we have a brain cancer, mm -hmm. so we had to start our chemo treatment. But that's when Amanda had all the awareness. That's when the you know the cup of cozies. She wanted shirts with peekaboo compartments. Yeah. She hated the way her port would get accessed. So we just had a new needle developed um, with um, partnership with um, BD and Bard. They like one company now. And I had worked with their engineers, and now we actually have a stabilizer rope to access a port with one poke. And it's called the Amanda Port Stabilizer, so that's recently done. So she l literally created something at 12 years old with you, her mom, spearheading the, the, the ship, right? That, that has been patented by the FDA that's literally changed the way other children are getting care. The de engineers designed it, but it was her original thought, like, why does this have to hurt so much? Why, why can't they come up with something better? But the engineers are the ones that actually created it. I was just the mom that called them and said, what, why? Do you yeah, but you know what, it takes, a, it takes a person to do that, right? Yeah. You could have just ignored it, right? No, it wasn't gonna ignore it because it caused an immense amount of mental torment for her. You know, can you imagine? And you're holding her down. down. I yeah. hold her down while they keep sticking a needle in her chest. Yeah. Time and time again. Crazy. Yeah, no, it was a nightmare. So this gala that's coming up on Saturday night, which I'll be there doing another the live video, it starts at six. six. And yeah. is there still tickets available? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and buy the tickets. They're two hundred fifty dollars a piece. Amanda's Hope. Rainbow Angels. Rainbow's Angels. Just AmandaHope.org. Okay. And, and 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 uh, if people aren't able to attend, they can always go to the you website and donate. donate. You can sponsor a child for thirty five dollars, and they get that care kit with the t shirt and the backpack and all the toys. Yeah. You can trans. You can. We do all the transplants. We decorate all the rooms in the hospital because they're in the hospital for two, three, four months. Uh huh. We decorate all those rooms, so they can sponsor one hundred fifty dollars for us to decorate a transplant room. They can buy meals. They can pay for a gas card. I mean, that, there's a whole list of things, things they, they can, can do, do on our website. That's awesome. Yeah. They can sponsor one child a month, thirty-five dollars a month, and then they still get the Arizona tax credit because we're part of that. Which don't you love that? One hundred percent credit. One hundred percent. I mean, dollar, dollar. Dollar, you have to pay your taxes anyway. You might as well. So, um, exactly. to all you self-employed people that are out there, when you get that big chunky bill at the end of the year where the government says that you owe them $35,000 for the work that you did this year and you've put it in a separate account, you might as well take 10 grand of it 
or however, you know, pick your number, talk to your CPA, he'll tell you the right number, she'll tell you the right number, as the case may be, and just write a check out to Amanda's Hope or any other charity of your choice in, in Arizona because you're going to pay that money anyway. You might as well have it go to some kids and, and you can buy a piece of equipment like this that calms a child down prior to getting poked with a huge needle. I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? So when I get the painting done, I'll give you guys the link. You can also buy a shirt or a t-shirt. 50% of the, of the uh, product that you ship to your home, 50% um, of the profit goes to Amanda's Hope. But if you decide to buy a shirt or a t-shirt or a hat or something and you want to give it to a kid here at Amanda's Hope, 100% of the profit from that particular item will go to Amanda's Hope. So if you want to buy a hoodie or you want to buy a hat or you know, I haven't decided what the retail items are going to be. If, you're, if you ship that item directly to Amanda's Hope um, to give to a child or to a parent, 100% of the profit from that particular item will go directly to Amanda's Hope. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So thanks guys for coming to come, listening to a, a Relentless Talk Radio Special Edition. Um, thank you so much for the work that you're doing. I'm, I'm like super proud of you. Like, as a woman, as a mom, as a member of the community, as a professional, that you've taken the gifts that God gave you and you're putting it into this effort. Thank you so much for the work that you do. Absolutely. Anytime. I love my kids. Oh, They're just superstars. All right, guys, so tune in on Saturday, probably about 6.30 or so, and you can see all the rock stars that are at the Amanda's Hope Gala. And I don't know, like, what I'm going to be wearing, but I'm going to try to look for a local Arizona designer, so... You can check out what I'm wearing, too. I'm, I'm probably going to wear something locally designed by one of the um, designers at Fabric. I'm, I'm looking into it. So sign on and see what I'm wearing. All right. See you later, guys. Take care.